Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. For my continued coverage of CES, I got a chance to check out one of AMD's new Ryzen 4000 APUs. But first, I want to thank Micro Center for sponsoring our trip to CES this year. Micro Center is the hardware lover's paradise because not only do they have some of the best deals in the industry, but they actually have local stores all around the country. And I'm really excited about this sponsorship because Micro Center is where I got the parts for my first build. So make sure to check them out in the description below. So today, I was lucky enough to get an invite to NVIDIA's CES suite. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you talking about an NVIDIA booth when this video is about an AMD APU? Well, at the suite, NVIDIA was showcasing a Zeus's new Zephyrus G14, and it was there because the laptop comes with either a GTX 1660 Ti or an RTX 2060. Now, for those who don't know, the Zephyrus G14 is a 14-inch notebook that's extremely light at just 3.5 pounds. It also comes with an LED dot matrix display on the top, but none of that is really why I'm here. No, it's because the G14 comes with an exclusive Ryzen 4000 APU. It's called the Ryzen 7 4800HS, and it's exclusive in that it's made specifically for the G14 notebook. As far as its specs, the 4800HS is effectively a toned down 4800H because the HS model comes with a smaller 35 watt TDP compared to the 45 watts of the 4800H. I'm sure this was done to keep the battery life up as well as thermals down, but still keeping it decently powerful. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, I actually got a chance to play around with it a bit, and as you can see, it's clearly running an early build of the 4800HS given the 8 cores and 16 threads. Plus, of course, it was confirmed by an NVIDIA rep. Unfortunately, while I did a bit of groveling, I wasn't allowed to run any benchmarks. With that said, I did get a chance to play some Call of Duty, and I have to say that I'm impressed with the performance, especially given the extremely small form factor. The model that I got to play only came with the GTX 1660 Ti, so I couldn't try out anything with real-time ray tracing, but let's just say that AMD's new CPU was clearly able to keep up. And what I mean by that is really that it felt extremely smooth. I didn't notice any big frame drops or experience any real issues like thermal throttling during my short session. Of course, with all of that said, the CPU is more of an engineering sample, and the rep didn't really want to discuss much of anything about it, so they're clearly trying to keep it under wraps. Regardless, with the fact that Zeus is moving towards Ryzen with their small form factor flagship, it's clear that AMD has come a long way, and they're ready to infiltrate yet another market. So while that does it for today, what did you think? Terrible bent over gaming aside, do you think AMD is ready to compete in the high-end notebook market? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.